Hey everybody, I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful weekend. Oh wait, yes, it is still the weekend. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about NaNoWriMo and some updates on that. Um, let me see here, where would I start? Well, um, I haven't done the live streams yet. Um, hopefully I will start those today. And um, <clears throat> so far, I'm right under 5,000 words. So today is technically day three, I guess, of NaNoWriMo. And um, I'm at like 4970, I think. But, um, I want to encourage everyone to find someone who's also doing nano, maybe. Or maybe they're not doing nano. Um, but let them read what you've written so far. And here's why. Um... The people, like people I know who are doing nano, are like Brit from BookTube and um, Secondhand Shan. Um, we have a little chat and we're talking or whatever, just like trying to encourage each other as we go. But Brit said something um, on day one that was awesome. She was just talking about um, the promises that she makes to her reader in the first chapter. And I was like, oh man, I never think about that, and I should. And because um, this book I'm writing is... I, I kind of hate using this term, but it's an important book to me, okay? And if it wasn't for BookTube, I probably never would have tried to write it or even wanted to, let's say. So this book is important to me at least but um as far as like the promises I make and stuff I was like fuck and I was like going through and so like I made a list of like eight questions or nine questions that for me as a reader would ask after reading the first chapter. And I was like, oh, wow, this is great. Um, I should really make sure, like, I have um, chapters that talk about each of these things or at least have <clears throat> a way to talk about it. Um, or a way to answer it. So then I asked Britt to read the first chapter. And um, I was just like, you know, like, what questions do you have, like, after reading that? Like, what, um, like, what promises do you think I'm making? And even though I came up with like eight or nine things that I thought I needed to address, she came up with a few more that weren't what I was asking. And I was like, fuck. And so I asked her about it. And I'm like, like, why is this something that you would bring up or whatever? 
And it turns out, because I've been mulling this idea around in my head for a while, there's stuff that to me is like common knowledge about the world that she legitimately didn't understand or know about because I've never said anything about it. But because I've been like thinking about it and like plotting it in my head, there's little things that like I just, I don't know, like I just kind of assumed people would guess or that they would like, I assumed that the reader would assume. And um, so what I ended up doing because of that um, an event that in my plotting was supposed to take place way later in the book, I moved to the second chapter because I felt like it would answer a lot of those questions. Um, and it explains a lot more without having to explain anything. Um, but I just, like, I don't know what I would have done if Brit hadn't brought up this weird little idea. So I just want to, um, extend the invitation to have somebody read the first chapter of what you've done so far. And just ask them, like, what promises did I make that I'm going to return to later on in the book? What questions do you have that need to be answered? Like, it's just, it's a really powerful tool. And it will change the way you write the rest of the book. And if you do it now, and this is if you're writing your book in chronological chapter based order or whatever um it, it's just it's a great little thing because like I never would have written the chapters I wrote yesterday this early if I hadn't had um talked with her about that plus because I wrote those two chapters now more things have come up that are going to happen sooner that need to be dealt with in the story. So it's just, it's really important and I highly recommend everybody do that. Um, I will probably do the live stream later and um, <clears throat> I will probably also do um, a Star Trek video. If I finish the book today, I've been reading a couple stories a day out of that James Blish book. My dogs, dude. Um, and I'm really liking it. James Blish is awesome. Um, so anyway, um, I would love to hear how you're doing. And, um, if you're on the nano site, I would love to like add you or whatever so we could so I could track your progress and stuff. That'd be great. So until next time everybody. <laughs>